Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Now, with update 1.19, uh, the devs have introduced more inertia to your character um, so that it takes longer to sort of strafe when you're running and uh, when you when you rotate and things like that. However, this is server configurable. So as you can see by this character here, um, he's uh, strafing fairly fast. I'm not very good at mouse and keyboard, but he, he's pretty much where... Um, they used to be uh, before update 1.19, um, which is pretty, pretty fast. So it's pretty good. So how do you do this? Now this is for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. It's very easy. Um, all the data is included in your CFG gameplay.json. So you must have that activated um, in your server DZ dot config or on your server settings. Um, and there is a new section called movement data which is here. Now, in order to get to this file, you want to go to your server, you want to go to the file browser, go into your missions folder, and then for the particular map you're working on, Chernerus or Enoch for Livonia, find your CFG gameplay.json and then download it. And then make a copy, then open up um, the copy in your favorite text editor so that if you make a mistake, you can always go back to the original. And these, at the moment, as of uh, the beginning of October 2022, these are the vanilla movement speeds here as well. And these are our delay times. So how long, it, you know, the delay before something something happens. So if you want to speed things up, what you can do is, is uh, reduce these times, which I have done here. So I've made them much, much faster. There's probably a hard limit, actually. I've set them all to 0 0.01, but there's probably a hard limit below which you know your character is not going to move any faster and i guess you could you could make them a lot longer as well to make, make the character really sluggish and there's also some drowning data here as well so if you want people to be able to swim without drowning you could add that too but the most important thing is movement data so if you've got like a hardcore uh, pvp server or just a pvp server and you want people to be able to people to be able to move in a similar way to what they used to be able to do then the movement data is the uh, the bit that you want to be playing around with um yeah and uh, and it's quite a lot of fun actually because it means you can really customize the feel of of your um of your character so anyway hopefully you found this useful um and just remember all you do is you make your edits save it and then re-upload it over the top of your existing cfg gameplay.json restart your server and um yeah the changes will take effect but there we go that's enough from me if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon.